Nigerian financial institutions do not usually make public disclosures on the impact of cyber fraud on their operations. But it's general knowledge that they suffer serious cases of cyber attacks, most times running into millions of dollars, according to the country's head of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. 2022 alone, we discovered that more than 71% of Nigerian industries, companies and firms fell victim to cybercrime. Within that period, the Nigerian economy lost $706 million. The alarming statistics continue with Nigerian banks losing over $8 billion to electronic transfer fraud in the first nine months of year 2022. Nigerian banks have been spending big to tackle the problem. In the first six months of this year, five of the country's financial institutions spent over $50 million to boost their IT infrastructure, according to a report by a non-profit financial institutions training center, FITC. And yet, during the same period, bank customers lost over $25 million, about four times the figure in the corresponding period of last year, highlighting the growing cyber threats to the Nigerian financial system. The report of the FITC, the Financial Institution Training Center, it shows that insider, or what we call uh, what we call insider threat, is on the is on the rise. So it shows that employees of these banks, most of them are becoming highly fraudulent in nature, right? So organizations must always look at the kind of employees they have that run sensitive activities or sensitive transactions. Financial institution must, apart from investment in technology, look at their employees. The rise in cyber attacks is also happening at a time when Nigerian financial institutions are losing their best IT talents to the brain drain syndrome, as many are leaving their jobs for greener pastures abroad. The government has now introduced a controversial cyber security levy to help deal with the problem. President Bola Tinubu has already ordered security and law enforcement agencies to ramp up efforts to crack down on cybercrime in the country, while Nigeria's central bank has also introduced more stringent know-your-customer rules for banking transactions. But some experts say much more still needs to be done. We're not doing enough when it comes to um, the legal framework to deal with some of this crime. So um, our judicial system is not doing enough. Our law enforcement systems are not doing enough to combat this new or this uh, modern um, criminality that we are witnessing today. And um, the more we continue to sit back and not do much about it, uh, the more it continues to grow. Nigeria's Economic and Financial Crimes Commission have enforced measures to crack down against cybercrime. But then cyber criminals have been relentless in their attacks in what is now turning out to be an endless battle between the government and the fraudsters. Deji Badimasi, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.